It says Sarah and Alexandria play this game below, and it asks how many pure strategy Nash equilibria does this game have? Well, again, we want to solve this thinking from the other person's point of view. So if Sarah were to move left, Alexandria would rather have 40 than 10. And if Sarah were to move right, Alexandria is indifferent between 20 and 20, so we can star both of those. Now, Sarah's thinking, if Alexandria moves top, well, I'd rather have 40 than 20, so I can star 40. And if Alexandria moves bottom, well, then I'd rather have 20 than 10, so I can star 20. Well, we see that a pure strategy Nash equilibria is two stars in one box. And in this case, we have two pure strategy Nash equilibria. The next question says, which of the following is true? And it gives us some different statements about strategies. And A says, Alex has a strongly dominant strategy. Well, we look at Alex and if she plays top, she could either get 40 or 20. If she plays bottom, she could either get 10 or 20. Well, that's a weakly dominant strategy because top is her dominant strategy, but it's weakly dominant because 10, 40 is definitely better than 10, but 20 is just as good as 20. So again, that's not a strongly dominant strategy. That's a weakly dominant strategy, so we can get rid of A. B says both players have strongly dominant strategies. Well, Sarah does have a strongly dominant strategy. She's always going to pick right because 40 is better than 20 and 20 is better than 10. But we just talked about Alexandria doesn't have a strongly dominant strategy. She has a weakly dominant, so we can cancel B out. C says Sarah has a weakly dominant strategy, but we just said she had a strongly dominant strategy. And D says both players have a weakly dominant strategy. And we know that Sarah has a strongly dominant strategy. Alexandria has a weakly dominant strategy, so we can cancel D out. And we're left with our answer to be E.